Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why is there no contact? So we're going to get down to this question because I feel like that's the most frustrating thing when someone's not in communication with you. It's just like, why are they doing this, you know? And it also can hinder the healing process, you know, if you do want to move forward because you're just frustrated, like, why is this person not contacting me? So that's the first question we're going to ask, okay? And then, um, so my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. And if you like a person or anything, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. So let's talk about the other questions we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about why is there no contact? What do they want to say to you? Because we can get more information from that. How do they feel about you? Um, also, what do you need to know about the situation, you know, that you don't know that could help you, as well as you know, will they reach out and contact you? And what are some blessings that are coming in for you guys in your romantic love life in the next few months? All right, so let's take a look at this Pisces. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so why is Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Why is Pisces love connection. They're out of communication with. Why are they not communicating with Pisces? What's going on with that situation? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. So we got the King of Cups. Okay. We got the Queen of Swords. We got the Page of Swords. Five of Pentacles. The Sun card energy. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Star card. The bottom of the deck is the Devil, which talks about temptations, procrastination as the overall energy. Okay, so could be because of a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Okay, okay, because uh, I do feel like this person's kind of looking to the past and trying to examine their emotions. Like, what do I do here? Like, I want to make the best decision when it comes to love, but how do I speak this truth to them? I feel a little bit naive or immature about this, or I need to get perspective about this. So let's get more information here. What is this, what is this truth? Or why can't they speak this truth? Why is this page of swords or Gemini Libra Aquarius energy? What is that about? Okay, so there was some inspiration here to try to be gentle when it came to their self-love, okay? So they were trying to be gentle and they didn't want to come off harsh because the Queen of Swords, when they speak their truth, they can come off a little harsh. Okay, so they left you out in the cold because of the sense of lack of optimism and joy. Let's see. Uh, they lack the strength, courage, and confidence. Okay, why else, Spirit? They were waiting around to see how things played out. Seven of Pentacles energy. They wanted to manifest forgiveness with you okay and uh, they weren't being they felt like they weren't being authentic okay they felt like they weren't being authentic in their friendliness so they felt they felt like they lacked the strength of courage and confidence to and I feel like when the manifestation card comes out it's like the magician card energy so it's like they didn't have an ideal situation so they didn't have the strength courage or confidence and they didn't know how you're going to feel about that if you would be able to forgive them and they didn't know how to be authentic and friendly about it they didn't know how to be real about it okay in seven of pentacles so they they kept waiting around to see how things are going to play out why is the ace of cups here why is the ace of cups here why is the ace of cups here the ace of cups has to do with love and opportunity concerns about their feelings okay so So love for them it seems to be that they had a lot of ups and downs in their abundance. And they took a lot of things personally. So things that you have may have said to this person, they really took it personally. And it really made them feel a lot, a lot of ups and downs in their emotions. And uh, they needed some time alone. And they lacked the strength, courage, and confidence to bring peace to their situation. They were grateful of your generosity, your kindness, but they felt like they wanted to focus on their self-worth here, okay, and being patient. Okay, so 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's that about? Okay, Wheel of Fortune is here because this person was trying to think positively about their communication with you and they do want to have some engagement with you and they they do want to follow their heart to give some clarity okay because they feel like you are part of their ultimate potential and they they want the power to know that things are permanent and now they're in wonder about it okay so why is the star card here why is the star card here Why is the star card here? Okay, so they're trying to understand that they need a break because of lack of courage and confidence and strength and friendliness and gentleness. And they wanna focus on joy, okay. So why, why, didn't, they, why didn't they contact you? Okay, so emotionally they were they were having ups and downs because they got offended by something that happened between you and them, okay? And they, they had a sense of loss in their love, their, uh, you know, opportunity of love. But they, they, they do realize they still love you. They wanted to speak this truth and focus on the sense of joy, happiness, and success when the timing was right. They felt like there was a little bit of immaturity there with the Page of Swords energy and waiting around to see how things are going to play out with the Seven of Pentacles energy. But they still are very hopeful of a positive outcome, Star Card energy. Okay. So, what do they want to say to you? So, what does Pisces love in? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does their Pisces love interest want to say to them? The one that they're out of communication with, what do they want to say to them at this time? Thank you. Obviously, you want to come out too. Okay, so. I don't I'm going to pull more cards. Okay, so. When I see this card, it's like the Emperor card energy. So they want to say that they want to take control of the situation when it comes to their desires because there has been some extremisms or extremes in the connection. They're having faith when it comes to this attraction because they do realize that this is a part of their path. Okay, again, they see there's huge potential here in this attraction and they're seeing that this is a part of their path. They really are trying to get some clarity here right now. You can see there's clouds here above this person's head. They're having a sense of confusion. So they're trying to bring the, some confusion into balance. And they want you to know to just trust that uh, there's going to be a realization and things are going to open up. Okay, so let's see now, Pisces, how does this person feel about you? How does Pisces love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to talk about, how does Pisces love interest, the one they're out of communication with, how does their love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. So we see the healing card, crossroads. See, they have feelings, okay, there you go. You see the feelings. Okay, shock and surprise, something to do with people and family. And then we see spiritual again, we see will of fortune again, and we see defensiveness. Okay, so Pisces, your person feels like I can heal this situation, I want to heal this connection, but I'm at a crossroads, I'm, at, I'm indecisive, okay? I have feelings for you, and there is romance here, but I was surely shocked and surprised um, when it came to these other people and family, because apparently there was something that was said, okay, something that was said, something that was done, and this person really got offended, your love interest did, Pisces. And they, they feel like there's a strong spiritual connection between you guys, okay, or there's something traditional here that they want in this connection, and they're, 
They're hoping that things can turn in their favor, but they do feel very defensive and hurt here uh, with the safe card. They want it to be safe for them to love. So we see they're, they're, they want to make a decision. They feel like, all right, I'm going to make a decision when some big change is happening in the right time because of family and a sense of abundance here. And we see the central theme is something to do with these people or wanting to go out and spend some time together. They may also enjoy spending time with you, also with the socializing card. Okay, but they're, they're going to they're gonna do it when they feel the time is right. Because right now they're defensive here. And they, you can see also they feel like there could be something long term here with the family card. Okay, so what do you need to know about this connection that you don't know that could help you? So what does Pisces need to know about this connection that could better help them understand why this is going on right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got here and now a soulmate connection in a new beginning. So why is this going on right now? Spirit is saying that you are going to have an awareness or you should have an awareness that this is a soulmate connection and that you will have a new beginning, a new life. That there are spiritual signs here and there is supportive energy in seeing the bigger picture. That there is something of value in this and mending this connection when the time is right. We're focusing on divine timing, that the, the connection will be mended. So why are you going through this? You're having an awareness of the soulmate connection and an opportunity and focusing more on the here and now. Okay, not on the past, on the present, but having an awareness of the soulmate connection in the now and focus on this new life, this new beginning and pay attention to the signs. It's showing there's a lot of supportive energy around this and that you need to see the bigger picture that there is something of value here and that things will be mended and healed in the right time, okay? That there's a foundation that was built and a decision, a fair decision will be made here. But you may have to be aware it's not gonna come together the way you expect it to. You're gonna have to be flexible about this. Okay, so Let's now ask the question, you know I like to be clear cut, Pisces. So we're just gonna do a three card, yes, no. Let's see, is this person gonna communicate for three months? So is Pisces love interest? The one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Is Pisces love interest going to contact them, reach out and contact them in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Cross card, ring card, scythe card. Okay, so they're neutral cards and one's a negative card. This will also be considered negative. So at this time, I'll tell you exactly what's going on, okay? The burden and, and the challenge is a commitment is cut away or cut out or something abrupt about the situation, okay? We see that the reconciliation card is here towards an opportunity but it's going to happen when um, somebody is single and available to pursue or there's some isolation or separation here first. We see that there's still decisions to be made and you have to be patient here because there is love, heart card energy. So it's going to take a little bit longer, guys. But as you can see, there is love here and um, there's still some decisions to be made. So be patient, okay? So. Let's find out some great things that are coming in for you, blessings that are coming in for you guys. So let me have some blessings that are, let me have an understanding of some blessings that are coming in for Pisces in the next couple months when it comes to a romantic love. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. 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 There's blessing cards coming out. Okay. Okay. 
Some of you are going on vacation. <laughs> okay. I see the voyage card. I see a plane there. Okay. Some of you guys are going on a vacation. And through this vacation, you're going to have a really nice adventure here because it looks like there's a lot of people checking you out. Okay. Um, also, through this, someone's going to be very nurturing and supportive to you. It looks like, yeah, there's a blessing here because you take a leadership role and refocus. We see there's going to be some big transformational changes, big changes for you guys coming in that's going to bring some potential in here. Okay, it looks like new potential here. Um, and it looks like you're going to embrace this or you're going to be really, really looking forward to this. Okay. Going further on this, yeah, success. Because of the sense of flexibility in direction. There's gonna be some big changes coming in, new beginnings, that's what I thought. And you're gonna find some direction here. There is a sense of safety here, or you're gonna be protected here. That's also a blessing for you guys, a protection. You're gonna be protected because there's some good intentions and in this opportunity here towards healing. Mm. And you're gonna get some kind of truth here too about it. All right, my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I will see you guys another day or two. Please have a great rest of your next couple days. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon.